Hey YouTube, it's OG Samurai 6 here. Kakura here uh, went to Nationals yesterday and took Jerkinities. Um, it was a fun day yesterday. It was a fun day, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you want to get started? Yeah, sure. Okay, first off, in any Jerkinity that you want to play Jerkinity Ducks, just so you can get your level 6s is and level weight and all that other stuff. Uh, it's a wing based tuner. Its effect is well, it actually has two effects. Most people forget uh, when this card is for every dread unit on the field, it gains 200 in attack. That includes himself, and he already has 1500. So just as you summon that, you got 1700 beat stick on the field, um, and. When this card is normal summons, you can equip one level three or level dragon type from the graveyard to you. And most of the time, uh, you want to go for phalanx. As pretty much as soon as you get this card, you want to send it to the grave as quick as you can. Just I don't care, set it, attribute it, whatever. Uh, but definitely get this to the graveyard once per turn. Well equipped to. Um, what you need? to a monster as an equip card, you can special summon it from your spell and trap zone. So basically, normal, this is in your grave, you equip, think, think for a level 6. Uh, one of the, one of the main reasons I want this deck is that it runs by itself. You, it runs by yourself. It does it does take, take effort, and it does take its strategy, but it's a pretty easy deck, but it's very good. Next up, you got uh, two Missile Attains. I recommend two. One is too little, three is too many. Um, you can... Okay, and one of the ways you can get Phalanx to Grave, Normal Summon it. You can Special Summon it. His effect is... Um, you can special summon this card by sending one face of Dread Uni, a monster you control, to the graveyard. So, normal summon this, sacrifice it, special summon this, use his effect, bring a Dread to, to the grave, like Phalanx, summon it, sing for a level 8. Um, Legion Air. Very good card in my opinion. Uh, even better when you've got a uh, Accolades in the grave. Um, let's see. When this card is normal summon, you can select one level three or lower drag unit type monster in your graveyard and equip it to this card as an equip card. Uh, they, then you, you can send one drag unit for any drag unit, any card that has equipped that any drag unity on your side of the field, you can send it to the graveyard and this will blow up a monster on the field. Now the reason that's so good is uh Accolades effect is when it's equipped and sends it to the grave while still attached to the monster. Like if it's like this and they attack, it this goes here, then this goes. But with um his effects you you discard it, and you can destroy any card on the field, not just a face-up monster. Um, I play two Zephyros the Elite. I might I might change this sometime soon. Maybe just put it to one. But for now, I have two. Uh, its effect is um, you can and send a face-up card. Card on the f on your side of the field back to your face up card um, on the on your side of the field back to the hand you take 400 summon Zephyros it's got 1600 attack so you got a 1600 beat stick if you if you've uh, if you've got uh, a duck that they effect that word or something you can overlay to the rank four. Or if you've got Phalanx on the field, it's a win B, so you can get any of your Dread Unis out, I too. 
because uh, Dragoon and Synchros are one wing beast and uh, one dragon type tuner. Next up, we got Cyber Dragon because uh, Thunder Team Ryle just kills this deck. And um, so you can special summon Cyber Dragon. They Thunder Team actually can stop this, but you still have it off the field. So either way, so either way, you can. You can kill Thunder Chain with this, which is why I have it. Uh, next up is a Fetch Veiler. I wanted two of these, but, uh, I don't know. One, one's good enough. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a Spellcaster Tuna. Uh, level one. It's a hand trap, really, because, um, during your opponent's main phase, you can activate this card, stop. The gate, uh, get rid of its effects until the end phase. Effect or effects. Next up, you got Redman. I don't, that's pretty self explanatory, because most of the, well, all of the synchro, most of the synchros I have are dragon types, so. And you can banish a dragon type monster on the field. Uh, so, another. You, so, you summon Phalanx, banish it, automatic 2800 beat stick. So, it's a good card in terms of attack and defense, but also in terms of its ability. Alright, next up we got Dragon Ravine. Main search engine of the deck. I'm not kidding. If you don't run this, if you don't run this card, you are dead. You will never win in anything with Drag Unity. Uh, its effect is you can once per turn during your main phase you can discard one card to activate one of these effects. One, add the monster from your deck to your hand, or send one dragon type monster from. It. So that's another way to get family to the grave. Either discard or if who's grave ravines effect to get it to the graveyard. So. You can just have a lot of fun with this. Uh, you got three terraform armings, just the jet ravine to your hand. Uh, two MSD, self explanatory. Alright, um, I've got a, I've got a third one in my a side deck for if they get a D Fisher on me. Uh, so I can ha so I have a better chance of getting rid of that. Uh, Forge Burial. Also, way to get Achilles or Phalanx to your graveyard. Basically, uh, send one, it's a fact to send one monster from four in your hand. You can Get at your beats to, to the grave, monster reborn it, and you got your beat stick on the field. It's a really good card. Thought of Avarice. Um this is a drag units are pretty bad late game. This will be like it's the first turn of the game for you. You can well, actually it's like the first turn with all well, your stuff already done. Uh, so it's five monsters, monster charge. It's it is limited, so I can only play one, but still really good card. Okay, monster reborn. Uh, like I said before, uh, I can bring in one mo monster from either player's graveyard and summon it to your field. Attack or defense mode. Heavy Swarm, get rid of all spell and traps on the field. Also got Dark Hole, get rid of all monsters on the field. So basically, these two will wipe out everyone's entire field. So if you need a clean slate, definitely need you two of these. Okay, next up we're going into traps. Got Solemn Twosome. Uh, Solemn Warning, you pay 2,000 to stop a monster from being summoned. Solemn Judgment, to stop a, mo a monster spell or trap 
from activating, but you need to pay half your life points. So you've got 2,000 life points here, half your life points here. So it does take a lot of life points, but they're really good cards. Definitely play those. Uh, next, next up is D Prison. Is my two D Prisons. Uh, D Prison when a monster. Uh, declares an attack on your opponent's side of the field, you activate Dimensional Prison, and it banishes that card. So, pretty good in my opinion. Next up, you got the Mirror Force. Um, just, Mirror Force, when your opponent declares an attack, you activate Mirror Force, wipes out all the attack monsters on your opponent's field. Next up, you got a compulsory evacuation device. A uh, really good card. It's really good, uh, this format. Yeah, definitely good, this format. One of this and bottomless are probably the two best cards of the format. In terms of trap. Yeah, in and trap wise. Um, compulsory evacuation device and return 